Be curious, not judgmental. I know I shouldn't judge others. I learned Matthew chapter 7, verses 1 and 2. Do not judge, or you too will be judged. For in the same way you judge others, you will be judged. And with the measure you use, it will be measured to you. The following is from the Quran. O you who have faith, avoid much suspicion. Indeed, some suspicions are sins. And the Buddha said, whoever judges others digs a pit for themselves. I think the Buddha really nailed that. Judgment is a pit that is so limiting. And I do it anyway. I think my brain is often too busy judging others, and here are some recent examples. I was talking to an acquaintance who told me he eats beef three times a week. I was absolutely stunned. As an ardent environmentalist, so many judgments sped through my brain. Doesn't he know eating beef is terrible for the environment? And that much beef, yikes. He must not care about his carbon footprint, and so on. Now I could have wondered, if he's anemic, maybe he needs iron and buys carbon offset credits. But that came some days later. In the moment, I was overwhelmed with judgment. And then my son, oh, every parent knows about judgments about your child no matter how old they may be. I don't like some of the decisions my son makes. I can pretty quickly jump to the conclusion that he will not end up doing well in school, not creating the opportunities I hope he does, jumping right into thinking that he will become homeless and living in a tent. More judgments and fear fantasized events appear real. I know all this isn't helpful, and it separates from me from people. My judgments aren't bringing me joy. And what can I do to get out of this judgmental mindset? I was reminded of metta, sending loving kindness. When I have judgments about some adversity, due to my judgment, that will befall my son, I now send him loving kindness. Instead of thinking, you're going to fail out of college because you're not studying enough, I change that to, I wish you well. It's a practice I continually work on. Recently, I was watching TV, because we know wisdom can come from anywhere. The show was about an American football coach, Ted, who takes a job in England to coach soccer, about which he knows virtually nothing. He is the definition of an underdog. During a dark game with the villain of the show, Ted says he saw a quote by Walt Whitman, be curious, not judgmental. He realized all the people in his life who belittled him and judged him were not curious about him. They thought they had it all figured out, so they judged everyone. If they were curious, they would have asked questions. I think that is a great goal, to ask more questions and be less judgmental. I want to be more like Ted Lasso.